All right, so we've been talking about graphing some of these lines. Let's talk about one way to graph. Hmm. That's graphing using the x and y intercepts. This is a nice way to graph if you can recognize the form. <clears throat> First, let's talk about the x and y intercepts. If I'm along this black graph right here, sure. If I'm looking at this x value, um, its resulting y value is down there around minus two. If I'm looking at this x value, its resulting y value is right there about negative one. If I'm looking at this x value, what do you notice about the y value? Yeah, the y value is zero. And this point is of the form where y is zero. Here x happens to be four. Sure, all right, I'm cruising on. <clears throat> That x value returns a y value that's about a quarter. That x value turns a y value that's about one. That x value returns a y value that's about one and a half. And this x value returns a y value that's two. Well, what do you notice about this x value? That x value is zero. Here my y value is two. Yeah. And those are the x and y intercepts. That's the reverse of how you would go and find the x and y intercepts. If I'm looking at this and I'm trying to find that x intercept, perhaps I'm given a graph or given an equation that looks something like 3x plus 6y is 12. Maybe the book gives me something like that. You notice it's in standard form, and what you else you notice is that the coefficients on your variables are multiples, or the constant is a multiple of the coefficients. If you see something like this, it is begging you to graph by using the x and y intercepts. So like we did over there on our picture, if I was going to try to find the x-intercept, that's where the black line intercepts the x-axis. If I was trying to find the x-intercept, I would let y be zero. And I'm going to do that right here. To find the x-intercept, I'm going to let y equal zero. I'm going to plug it into there, into my equation. This is 3x plus 6, what would that y be? Zero. Yeah. Times zero is equal to 12. Yeah. Oh, the killer. Oh. And I have 3x is 12. So I need to finish him. Try to find out what x is. To undo that multiplication, I use a little division. Divide both sides by three. And x turns out to be four? Sure. So let's look at that point. My point, what's my x? Four. What's my y? It's zero. So what's my point? My point is that the x-intercept is a point. Just so happens to be the same point up there. Um, let me find my y-intercept. My y-intercept. To find the y-intercept, here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let x equal zero and solve for y. So I do that x is equal to zero. I'm going to throw it into my equation. I have three times zero plus six y is 12. Oh, six y is 12. Divide. What you do on the one side, you must also do onto the other. And y turns out to be two. Oh, let me write my point. My point is, Zero, two. Awesome. 
Now once you have your two points, you plot those two points, then you graph those two points. <laughs> that wasn't planned. It just worked out that way. I plot this one, I plot that one, I connect the dots, la 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 la, <laughs> and you're done.